E aí, pessoal, estamos aqui no, no stand da Strongify. A Strongify faz exatamente aquilo que você gostaria de fazer com os seu, seus devices de internet das coisas. Né? Eu estou aqui com o Mike, o Mike vai, vai mostrar um pouquinho do que, que é. Só para vocês terem uma ideia, por que, que eu parei aqui? Né? Eu parei aqui nesse stand porque exatamente esse é um dos problemas que a gente vive discutindo. Várias coisas, várias apps, várias nuvens. Mike, can you, can you explain me a little bit about Stringify and what do you do? Sure. Yeah, I mean, Stringify is an IoT service uh, and it allows you to automate your life in short. Uh, we tie into well over 500 products and services. Uh, Hero products like Nest and Hue, Fitbit, things like that. As well as digital services like Dropbox, Google Traffic, uh, Google Drive, things, things of that nature. Uh, the app itself is totally free. You don't need to buy additional hardware or anything like that. Just download the app. Uh, and it acts as both the universal remote control as well as a way to, to automate your life a bit. Um, the app itself, if you can see this really quickly. So as I mentioned, it acts as a universal remote control as well. So I can basically tap on any one of these things. I can turn on and off lights. I can set the temperature in my home. I can check the steps on my Fitbit. I can do all of that. If I was to go and begin an automation aspect, these are all just flows in this particular library, but why don't we start at the beginning and tap on starter flows. So these are all flows that any user just has access to. Um, we can kind of cruise through. There's turning lights on at sunset, fading lights, uh, seeing if it's going to be raining out. We'll do something simple like just turning on the lights when it's uh, sunset. So this obviously outlines, okay, these are the couple things that it works with, date and time, as well as uh, LifeX bulbs. I'll tap on here, and it has a nice little tutorial to walk me through. So in short, I just go ahead and I tap on this uh, date and time. And just wants to make sure, okay, is this where we are? Is we're in Las Vegas, and this is the, the time of day, or the time zone that we want to use for sunset. And then that's it, it already knows the light bulb. We just enable flow and we're all set. So in addition to that, we can then expand on this quite a bit. So I can, all I'm going to do is just drag my finger across here, and I'm going to play something else. So for instance, we could just put a thermostat here. This is a nice thermostat from Honeywell. Let's tap on that. Obviously, it has a little gear there. And let's say maybe at, maybe at sunset, we want to get it a little bit warmer in the house. So I'm just going to set it to 70, whatever that is, 72. Click Save, enable the flow, and we're all done. And so this, uh, it's relatively infinitely expandable, and there's a spot for about 100 things or so on the canvas, and you can add and, and, and go as you please. The app also acts as a discovery mechanism where you can discover all these great new products that a lot of which you see around the show. There's a number of our partners here. I believe WeThings is here, and NetAppMo, and a number of other folks. Uh, and that's you know, essentially in short how it, how it all works. It comes together. Perfect. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Great meeting you.